Welcome to my guide about 7 perfect days in San Francisco, and be sure to stick around till the end where I'll reveal some hidden gems that even locals don't know about. Start your journey with a thrilling ride on the famous San Francisco cable car. Hop on near Fisherman's Wharf, a bustling area filled with seafood restaurants, souvenir shops, and street performers. The cable car ride itself is an unforgettable experience, taking you up and down the city's iconic hills. Feel the wind in your hair and take in the sights and sounds of the city as you glide past historic buildings and bustling neighborhoods. It's a fun and unique way to see the sights and get a feel for the city's vibrant atmosphere. Next, make your way to the one and only Golden Gate Bridge. This world-famous landmark is a must-see. The bridge's stunning Art Deco design and vibrant orange color make it a true icon. Take a leisurely walk or, if you're feeling adventurous, rent a bike and ride across. The views of the bay, Alcatraz Island, are simply breathtaking. Don't forget to snap some photos. This is one of the most photographed spots in the world and you'll want to capture the moment. As the day winds down, take a leisurely stroll along the Embarcadero. This waterfront promenade is the perfect place to relax and soak in the beauty of the bay. Enjoy the cool breeze and stunning views of the Bay Bridge, which lights up beautifully as the sun sets. You'll also pass by the Ferry Building, a historic marketplace filled with gourmet food stalls and unique shops. It's a great place to grab a bite to eat or just enjoy the lively atmosphere. Day 2 starts with an exciting trip to Alcatraz Island. Catch an early morning ferry to the island and get ready for a fast fascinating tour of the old prison. Walk through the cell blocks and learn about the famous criminals who were once locked up here, like Al Capone. It's a little spooky but very interesting, and don't forget to look back at the amazing views of the San Francisco skyline from the island. After your Alcatraz adventure, visit Pier 39, where you can see the playful sea lions lounging on the docks. They're so fun to watch as they bask in the sun and splash in the water. Pier 39 is also full of cool shops, street performers, and tasty places to eat. Grab a snack and enjoy the lively vibe. Next, take a relaxing walk through the Japanese tea garden in Golden Gate Park. This peaceful spot is like a little piece of Japan in the middle of the city. Wander through the beautiful gardens, check out the pretty ponds, and maybe even enjoy a cup of tea in one of the tea houses. It's a perfect place to unwind and enjoy nature. Day 3 is all about amazing views and exploring. Start your day with a visit to Coit Tower. This tall tower gives you awesome views of the city and the bay. Take the elevator to the top and be amazed. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island, and the whole city from up here. It's a great place for some fantastic photos. Next, head to the charming neighborhood of North Beach, known for its Italian roots and lively feel. Walk around the streets and enjoy the vibrant energy. Start at Washington Square Park, a nice green space where you can relax and watch people go by. While you're there, visit Saints Peter and Paul Church, a beautiful building with twin towers that's a North Beach icon. Spend the afternoon exploring the shops, cafes, and galleries in the area. North Beach is full of hidden gems and local favorites. Enjoy a tasty espresso at an Italian cafe. Browse through cool boutiques and check out the local art galleries. The neighborhood's lively feel makes it a fun place to spend the day. Good morning. Start your day with a super exciting bike ride across the Golden Gate Bridge. Feel the wind on your face as you pedal and take in the amazing views. Don't forget to stop for lots of pictures. After the bridge, head to the Marin Headlands for more outdoor fun. You can hike, climb rocks, or even try hang gliding if you're feeling brave. It's a beautiful area with lots of natural beauty. In the afternoon, go to the Presidio, a big park with nice trails. Walk around and enjoy the views of the Golden Gate Bridge and the Bay. It's a great way to relax after your exciting morning. As the day ends, get back on your bike for a sunset ride along the waterfront. Pedal along the pretty paths and watch the sun go down. It's a really special way to finish your day of adventure in San Francisco. First up, let's kick off the morning at Fisherman's Wharf. This place is like a giant playground for all ages. One spot you won't want to miss is Musée Mécanique. It's this really cool place filled with old-fashioned games and quirky machines that'll make you feel like you've stepped back in time. Think pinball, vintage arcade games, and all sorts of mechanical wonders that are just waiting for you to try them out. Now hold on to your hats because the adventure continues with a high-speed boat tour around the bay. Picture yourself zooming past famous landmarks like the towering Golden Gate Bridge and the intriguing Alcatraz Island. It's like a roller coaster ride on water. As the sun starts to dip below the horizon, make your way over to Pier 39 for an evening of pure bliss. Here, you can hang out with the locals, the playful sea lions, watch them basking in the the last rays of sunlight, adding their own special charm to the vibrant waterfront scene. And don't forget to explore the shops and sample some mouth-watering seafood while you're at it. It's the perfect way to wind down after an action-packed day. Make your way to the iconic Haight-Ashbury neighborhood, a place steeped in history 
and known for its role in the 1960s counterculture movement. Wander along Haight Street, where you'll find funky shops, vintage boutiques, and a laid-back vibe that's truly one of a kind. It's a trip back in time to an era of peace, love, and groovy vibes. After immersing yourself in the Haight-Ashbury scene, take a breather at Dolores Park, a beloved gathering spot with stunning city views and lush greenery as far as the eye can see. It's the perfect place to relax, enjoy a picnic, and soak in the sunshine while watching the world go by. The views here are Instagram-worthy. In the afternoon, make your way to the Ferry Building, a hub of activity and a foodie paradise. Be sure to sample some of the delicious offerings from the local vendors. Explore the artisanal shops. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. Start your day at the San Francisco Botanical Garden in Golden Gate Park. It's like a big garden with plants from all over the world. Take a walk and enjoy all the pretty flowers and trees. It's a peaceful way to start your day. Next, let's go explore Land's End. It's a park by the ocean with amazing views of the water and the Golden Gate Bridge. Put on your walking shoes and hit the trails. You'll find cool spots to explore, like old ruins and hidden beaches. And if you're lucky, you might even see a whale. In the afternoon, head over to Ocean Beach for some beach fun. Take a walk on the sand, splash in the waves, or just relax in the sun. It's a nice way to spend your last afternoon in San Francisco. And to top it all off, we're going on a sunset boat ride. Whether you're on a big boat or a small one, it's going to be amazing. You'll see famous places like Alcatraz Island and the Golden Gate Bridge, while the sky turns all sorts of pretty colors. So there you have it. Day seven of your San Francisco adventure is over, but we are not done yet. As promised, here are the hidden gems you must visit. The 16th Avenue Tiled Steps, a beautiful mosaic staircase in the inner sunset neighborhood. The steps are covered with colorful tiles that make it look like a piece of art. Climbing these steps is like walking through a gallery. At the top, you'll get incredible views of the city and the ocean. The steps start at Moraga Street and 16th Avenue, and they are a fantastic spot for photos. Click this video on screen about seven perfect days in Greece. And don't forget to subscribe for more travel guides.